Hey everyone, we're at Seattle's Allen Institute where they just unveiled its newest division, the Allen Institute for Immunology. The division will focus on the human immune system and how it can be tweaked to fight cancer and autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. None of this would have been possible without the extraordinary vision and generosity of our late founder, Paul Allen. Before billionaire philanthropist Paul Allen died, he made a $125 million commitment to the Allen Institute for Immunology. Through this extraordinary collaboration, we'll be generating enormous amounts of data. And as we do at the Allen Institute, we intend to share the data through data releases openly. That was Dr. Tom Bumel. He's the executive director of the new Immunology Institute. The initial diseases we will study are two cancers, specifically multiple myeloma and melanoma. Bumel said his division will also focus on rheumatoid arthritis and two types of inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. As a cancer survivor myself, I well understand what happens when the immune system fails to eliminate the initial threat of a malignancy, and your body can no longer keep up and fight this relentless disease. You know, immunology is the new frontier. Dr. Jane Hoyt Buckner is the president of the Benaroya Research Institute, which is one of five organizations that'll partner with the Allen Institute on immunology research. Immunology has been um, really at the forefront thinking about cancer these days, and that's because we know that the immune system's job, in part, is to go throughout the body all of the time and destroy abnormal cells, and cancer cells are abnormal cells. What we've been able to do over the last uh, several years is to harness the immune system, once a person has cancer, to go in and kill those cells. If we can understand what goes wrong to lead to cancer and how those cells that can kill cancer, how they work, we're gonna be able to even potentially prevent cancer, let's say with vaccines.